Good morning. Uh, just uh, early morning Edmonton. It's cold. Just got a coffee down, a couple cigarettes, and we're about to hit the highway. But uh, there's a video that I actually have to make on my exit. I realized yesterday I can't. Re no, I could easily avoid this, but uh, uh, it's really something I shouldn't. So. It was actually a big event in my life, very big event in my life. And uh, drove by, drove by something yesterday. Uh, I was talking about it in a video, I kind of ignored it. So, on the way out of uh, Edmonton, on the way out of Edmonton, I just gotta get to the truck's way here. Uh, you can see downtown Edmonton down over there, just behind that tree, kind of blocked. On the way out of this place, i uh, just going to try to do a quick video. And man, did Kingsley Mall ever change? What the hell are they doing to it? I used to do a lot of shopping there. It was kind of a nice size mall, not too big. I hate West Edmonton Mall, way too big. So, uh, possibility my cards, memory cards may fill up. And uh, this video won't work out, we'll find out. Uh, okay, that one's running. Okay, so let's get moving. It's cold. And because of the weather today, there will probably be a lot of sniffling in my videos. Looks like, excuse me, still kind of waking up here. Uh, looks like we got some rain last night. Uh, still a few patch, still a few patches on, wet patches on the road. Cold roads, a little bit of wet patches, a lot of dirt. Nah, good riding conditions. Not really. And I am fogging up way too much. Come on, let's make this light. Ah, oh, just think that. Just think that. Wow, we're not even going to speed with it. Come on, Edmontonian. Uh, I just updated the firmware on my cameras. So, okay, I used to just cheat a lot when I was younger. What cheat is that, you wonder? A little bit of splitting. We'll keep it legal today. Oh, come on, wake up, Scott, wake up. 
and what an ugly looking sky uh, she's a little cool this morning actually cameras right out. We still got about 10 minutes to get to the destination, but I can just do that sort of as a wrap-up. Uh, I don't think this video is going to last too long for my carts. So I've got a few videos on these carts. Uh, <clears throat> I brought my wrong computer. I brought a lighter laptop. I was trying to save about five pounds on my back, but it won't read uh, my bigger memory cards. So, uh, uh, how do I start this? How do I lead in? Trying to, kind of trying to figure out my words right now. My stupidity and youth stupidity. And partying, yeah, okay. Youth stupidity and partying. Okay, let's use that as a lead and see where I go from there. Uh, when I was younger, I got in little bit of trouble and there was this one event that could have really sorry for getting too much wind noise and external noise and fogging up real bad she's cold I just got to be careful cold super corsa is not a good thing uh, we found something out when we were younger that okay I shouldn't really do these corners but I want to uh, you can go both sides on this bridge just nothing too aggressive Scott Wow, I can't get my screen clear. And... Let's do it. Uh, we had found something out yet yeah, when we were younger that... Uh, the paper boxes that you see sitting on corners. Uh, distribute papers by putting coins in them. Uh, we found out if one little piece of metal was bent and you took a magnet with a specially bent piece of coat hanger you could actually get some money out of them. I cannot.
could have scooped. Could have scooped in the bus lane and skirted around all this traffic. So, uh, back to the story I had. Uh, you could usually come, it wasn't much money, you know, you could come up with maybe five to fifteen dollars, I'd say five to ten. But it was back in the day when a case of beer only cost about ten bucks. So, Watching traffic. Someone wanted my lane. Okay, now. And this little ass in, in the one lane. I will take it. So, uh, one night. Uh, one night we're. Yeah, how would you say? We are getting some money out of one of these boxes. And, nah, nothing went wrong, the whole bit. Went, went and bought her case of beer, went and party that night. I, I was very young. Uh, I gotta remember, I was always hanging out with two, people two to three years older than myself. Uh, just because of my height. I was accepted very easily. And... Then uh, I kind of need to fast forward. Uh, six months later. Yeah, six months later. Cop shows up to my door. Starts asking some questions. And... Uh, basically, my response was I couldn't remember where the hell I was six months ago. But I guess during that interview, I must have said... I must have said something. Or he saw something. Or I was feeling really guilty that he picked up on it. But, uh, led him to charge me. Uh, I was identified by a school book, uh, yearbooks from school. I thought that was kind of funny in itself. Oh shit. Would have liked to have darted in, darted in behind that guy. He's moving. And uh, we just, we just actually passed the location. So at this location in Edmonton, uh, I got myself into a little bit of trouble. But here was the scary thing. What we were doing is just getting enough for a case of beer every once in a while. We weren't doing it very often. Now on the other side of town, there was a group of them that was hitting them hard. And hitting a lot of them. So... Uh, even to the point it was making the papers. So now I've got a charge. And they could make all this stick on me. Which now made this event a very big thing. And man, I did not want that. I really did not want that. Because, yeah, I did something bad. And, but, because of external circumstances, it could have came out on me as being something really, really bad. So, uh, I was just I was maintaining innocence as I did not
is I did not want the, the consequences of the other people being applied to me. Uh, could, could have been very severe. Edmonton roads are just getting worse and worse. Spend some money on infrastructure, guys. What are you doing, sir? I can't believe how bad Edmonton roads are, even the main ones. So, uh, let's fast forward. Uh, this is where my mother made me talk to my grandfather. This is where we sort of started to really get to know each other. My grandfather was very, how would you say, very quiet. Yeah, and I didn't really learn until later why he was always so quiet. He kind of had to be. Now, why my mother made me speak to my grandfather? He was a judge. Yeah. So my grandfather... Okay, Terry's got a little bit of traction in him, that's good, he's got some heat there now. Ah, uh, so my grandfather, he actually stood up for my character. That man a lot to me. I'd already seen a lawyer in the whole bit. So, after the conversation with my grandfather, my court case was coming up. My grandfather was standing up for my character. And, uh, upon walking in the elevator, uh, who was it? It was lawyer, me, or lawyer, my mother, and me, three of us. And I looked. Uh, I looked at the lawyer and I go, okay, I want you to know. I am guilty. I did do this. I'm not responsible for all the other stuff. But I am guilty on this event, but I still want to plead innocence. I do not want to plead guilty to this charge. Uh, okay, we're fogging up real, real bad. I need another coffee. Now this is where the lawyer, he looks at me and just uh, watching traffic for a sec, he got a couple of searching cars. Uh, my lawyer looks at me, he smiles and he goes, let's go win this case. He did win. And so that was Oh, it was a really big lesson. Uh, from that moment in time, I'd have to say, because of my grandfather, uh, I never, can I say, I never lied? Yeah, from that moment in time, well, does, can ever, anyone ever say they never lie? Uh, a bit of wind, I need to throw up my visor. Uh, it sort of changed my character a little bit. And I've been a very, very honest person ever since then. I've been... Me and also, if I do something, I will stand up for my actions. I won't 
I won't try to hide things. I won't try to deny if I did it. Uh, so my grandfather, he taught me... He taught me the value of truth. He taught me the value of somebody's words. And... Okay, we're just grabbing a little bit of gas here before, before we hit the highway. Next stop is Red Deer, and I do not want to run out of gas. Okay... And, uh, I think I actually may have made this fit. Okay. So, this one person, my grandfather, he, uh, one event there, uh, he's actually taught me a lot. And so I kind of changed, yeah, I changed the big course of where I went in life. But anyways, got to kick out here, get some gas, we'll talk to you in a minute. Last leg of the journey, or not last leg, last video of this journey, and hope I didn't get too weird for you guys. I will soon find out. <laughs> oh my god, kind of funny. So, uh... Time to get home. Time to pick up the kin. Uh, gee, it's goddamn cold this morning. Fuck. I got my long john on though. Got my heated grip. Time to suck in as close to the bike as possible. Make some traps. Okay. So, you guys take care, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.